The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so... Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Trailer Park. Ilmo Cascella. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Seva. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber-jabber. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. out here by the water. Nice and quiet. Hey, 
Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh... Now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. I need to figure this out with profiling. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep.
Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Oh, Vito, Vito. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are off peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Just like my marriage. Flooding did this? Trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. The Costellas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Wake says the story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Okay. Doesn't make sense. Makes sense. Think.
Yeah, yeah. The dark place. A dimension that's home to monsters. Huh. Wild stuff. Think Saga. Nope. The dark place makes writing come true, taking something real and nudging it. They're treating people's lives like toys. Can Wake be trusted with that kind of power? Can anyone? The spare key is at Coffee World. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascalas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. What was that?
Jedi, show yourself! People turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Another rhyme. Okay, then. A charm. There's another cult stash.
Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of the terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight, and it was coming fast. Another one of those cult boxes.
watching the night? General Thor! Jerky. Up next, we've got Deer Fest. Oh, hold on now. We have, we have a call coming in. Which, which button is, is that? Hello? Uh, wrong line. Oh, hold on. H hello? Hello? You're on with Pat Main. Yeah. Gil Davis here. Well, what a pleasant surprise. We have Gil Davis on the line from our lovely sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Gil, any thoughts on those crochet dog sweaters? You need to stop. Eh, what's that? Just stop. Whatever this is you're doing, stop. Well, I'm not sure I understand, Gil. There's no such thing as Davis Family Beef Jerky. I don't sell beef jerky. I've never made beef jerky. I don't particularly like beef jerky. I'm getting crazy phone calls for jerky orders, day and night. You got confused old ladies all over this goddamn town on the hunt for imaginary beef jerky, asking for insane flavors like hickory teriyaki, which clearly isn't a thing. Uh, if you don't sell beef jerky, then somebody needs to tell your lovely wife, Wendy, because she's out there at the market every Sunday selling it. Wendy is dead, Pat. No, that's that's, that's not right. I, I just saw Wendy at the, at the market last weekend. Wendy went missing 13 years ago, Pat. They found her body. She's dead. We're trying to make peace with that, and you're making it so much harder with all this goddamn beef jerky bullshit. No, that's, that's just not true. She's there. Every weekend, I see her there. This joke has gone far enough. Now go get Wendy on the line so we can have a laugh about this. <laughs> She's fucking dead, Pat. Stop. Gil? Uh, I, 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 I think we're out of time. Uh, dog sweaters, Sunday market. Uh, yeah. Pat Main signing off. More of those rhymes.
Yeah, yeah. Monsters. I can use this charm on my bracelet.
There's another lunchbox. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence.
Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. <laughs> <laughs> 